What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we will continue on the combat system that we were making. This is the second episode, however I have made more videos that kind of join with this one as making an AI enemy and also equipping weapons. So, if you haven't seen the first combat video, I recommend to first of all see that one and then come back into this video as i said it's the second part and the other videos you don't really have to see them they're just like compliments so let's continue so in the last um combat what we did it was that if you um were to punch animation will display and a right cast will launch in front of the player so we can detect if there's an enemy or any other object but today we are going to add variations on the attack animation right now it's just the same one and it can be pretty boring and repetitive so let's go into the animations folder go into the old because you remember that we first of all imported in the ue4 mannequin and then converted it into the new layer one well let's do that so if you remember i have here my animation package uh which i I will leave in the description also if you want to download it it's free uh, but you will already have it if you followed the last video so i'm gonna use the paired push shove in here so let's just drag this one and we're gonna say that's gonna be with the mannequin skeleton so let's go and import it we open it we can see that it's perfectly working and then I'm also gonna go ahead and import the aerial swing forward. So let's just drag this one into the mannequin and import. Great. So let's convert this to into the new skeleton. So the paired push, click on it, retarget and duplicate and retarget. And the IK retarget section, we are gonna say that it's gonna be from ue4 skeleton to the ue5 and there we go retard it and it will be there let's go ahead and move it into animations move here and it will be there so let's also make it with the other one so the aerial swing right click retard it and duplicate from the ue4 to the ue5 retard it and then let's put it back into the animations folder Control shift s to save everything and let's continue so let's go and open our third person blueprint and let's go into the part where we play the animation which is here so to have more room to do this what i'm going to do is just go up here and create a custom event random animation and i'm just gonna go ahead copy this one and put it in here so what we're going to do is create a new variable that is going to be attack num and it's going to be an int here so each time that we attack we're gonna set sorry in here no you gonna set this number into a random integer in range and it's going to be from zero to in this case we'll have three animations so two so it'll be zero one two and this will leave up this and then we'll go ahead and make a branch and we'll ask if is equal if basically the attack num is equal to zero we'll play this animation which is bring a bit further this okay if it's false we go down here and we will say well if it's not the animation zero it will be the one so let's go ahead and do exactly the same we will also now need to create the animation months, yes. And then if, again, it is false, well, it will need to be the third animation, which is number two. 
and I'll just copy and paste this in here and there we go so let just go here content animations and then in here we'll have the area one and the push so I'll just right click create and then montage all right so now we have our animation montages so let's go back in here and in the second one we'll say that it will be the push and in the third one it will be the aerial swing so if we actually right now compile and save we need to still do one thing so on here of course i mean it's just plain animation so let's just delete this which also the duration we need to control that so let's um get and call the random animation event random animation the function sorry so now let's create a new variable and then we'll set this one to be delay duration and in this case this one is going to be a float and after each one of this i'm gonna set the delay duration to be whatever the animation plate was so now on here i can just delete this that i was here and the duration that it will get it will be the one that we set on here so if we now compile save and press play i attack we push we punch an aerial swing and it will be completely random of course the maybe the aerial swing is you know <laughs> is too overloaded for this kind of combat system but you can see how it's you know randomized which is really cool right now so let's add one more thing too let's go ahead and add some sound effects so in my case i have imported some audio here it's a simple push animation which i'm just gonna pop the volume up into around 2.3 or something like that this would be pretty low because i mean it's it's just like a, some side effects that will make the experience better but anyway so also to make this compatible in the future if you guys want to make a multiplayer or whatever um, i'm gonna add the sound in a specific location so after here i'm just gonna call here and say play sound location let's go ahead and click this one now my sound in my case will be the push pound punch sorry and then the location well it will be the get actor location and there we go compile and save and literally if i now press play you can now that the sound plays when i attack go now to make even the experience better what i'm going to do is make that a random sound which will you know choose randomly will play um randomly <laughs> so let's just go into um sounds and we'll create the sound cue okay and then here we're gonna say punch sound cue in the sound cue we can do a lot of things and control the air the audio however in this case we are just going to uh, use it to make a you know random note so open here the content browser go into audio and just drag this one here now i you can see i only have one animation so i really cannot like test this but you guys if you have any more audio uh, you can do it so i just drag the output and then just say random and it's this note and then connect this to the end and if you have any more animation you just put the other animation here and then drag it here if you have any more just uh create a new uh, input pin here and then drag again your your sound new one and then just put it in here uh in my case i just have one i just duplicated this to still showcase you but anyway if this was another sound it would you know pick it random so now in the bp uh, third person character in here you would just say to be the uh instead of the which punch the sound wave it will be the punch sound cue 
and just compile and save and i mean for me it's the same but for you if you place uh, a different sound in, in, in between the two well it will play it will choose randomly one of them so that's it guys if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and comment what you want to see next uh stay tuned for the third episode in this combat series uh today was pretty simple and chilling you know just making random animations and also uh playing random sounds of course the animation of the uh you know forward thing it's maybe too much we need to see but anyway check out my other tutorials as the ai one on here and you know the equipment and anything else and that's it bye bye